What did we start with? Did we do city? Was that our yeah, Duck City was our first one. Oh, we can do Duck City too. Oh my god. Simulation. We're doing Duck City too. I'm just letting you know everyone. Duck City 2. Duck City 2. Time to quack. Yeah, let me tell you about it, girl. Oh, Duck City 2, my favorite game. Oh, dear God. Duck City 2, a very, uh, people were expecting a lot to come from it. Uh, Duck City 3 has not been confirmed, but many rumors are uh, circulating from uh, Tummy Sausage. To the new game, but then, uh, <laughs> graphics, um, and, eh. I'm going to trust you, Hints. I'm going to trust you. All right, Hints. I'm giving you the hint. Sound. Whatever. Whatever. Stupid sounds. There you go, buddy. Pop those oranges into design. Ta-da! Stave Gabrilton. Duck City 2. First reviews for our newly released game, Duck City 2. Time to quack came in. I like it. <laughs> good. It was... I, it was good. It was a beautiful game. I like ducks. I fed... You can feed bread in this one. In, the, in Duck City 2 Quack Time, you can go into first-person mode and explore your Duck City... And there's an old man, and he feeds you bread. It's the best game ever. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. Generating a game report, you little baby. You can do it. Stop scratching your head. Come on. We're losing money here, buddy. We're losing money. You don't even know it, do you? You don't know nothing. Post-release analysis of Duck City 2, Town & Quack is complete, and we got the results. Story quest seems... To oh, th wow, thanks a lot. I appreciate that. The worst research ever. Uh, game history. Duck City 2, Tiger Marines, Let's Kill Grandpa, Spider Ship from Space, Mantle Bird Magic, Let's Be Jesus, Gyrum Elder Balls, The Bearded Cat, and Duck City. Ah, oh, if you buy now, you can get the entire Tummy Sausage collection on Steam. Oh, yes. Sorry, I'm just thinking of titles for romance already. With the growing interest in video games, there's also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a great new way for developers to market their games and stuff. I guess we should do remarket. That would be a big thing, actually. You successfully researched romance. You can now pick up ladies. Ladies. Marketing. My, my guy is a genius. Do everything. Doesn't have to poop. He's a robot. He's a robot. He's just typing and pooping. Tiny ginger poop robot. You successfully unlock marketing. You can access marketing options in the action menu. But only while a game is in development. Alright. Uh, romance. Genre. Simulation. No, not... Yeah, I guess. Yeah, they're simulation games, right? Well, it's not RPG. Or is it an RPG? Well, it's not action-adventure. I guess? Yeah, it's a simul- Come on, really? Come on. Come on, me. Alright, here we go. Here, we're coming out with Kiss My Sister, the game. That's right. Oh, what, what do we do? Simulation. Kiss My Sister, the all-new romance simulation for PC, based on the GoBoard version 1.0 engine. Oh, it's got, it's text-based, though. No, I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> All right, gameplay, story quests. It's a, oh, it is a simulation. That's kind of weird. There's no. Oh uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Duck City 2, Time to Quack is now off the market. It sold 30k units generating $210. You got $210, whatever. If you have more than one M in cash, you'll be able to move to the next level. This might sound a lot, but don't worry. Once you release a hit game, you will get to this amount easily. Venna, creator of the Master V console, has announced the Venna Gear, a portable console to directly compete against the gaming from Nintendo. Oh my god. And spokesperson from the company said, It's amazing! It looks like a frisbee, and you can throw it, and if you can read, you don't have to listen to what I'm saying. Will this device topple the game link? We will see. The Venna Gear will debut in two months. Oh my god. Kiss my sister. You better be a great game. Well, obviously the graphics have to be amazing. Who's going to want to kiss a pixelated sister? Gross. Get rid of those bugs. Come on, get rid of those bugs. Those big things, dude. Those big things. There you go. Good job. Yay! Come on, level up. There you go. 2D graphics all the way. New research available. 2D graphics version 3, 3D graphics version 1. Oh, I didn't do marketing at all. Son of a... Ugh. First reviews for our newly released game, Kiss My Sister, came in. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I hope they get, like, really high. Enjoyable. Kissing your sister was enjoyable. Hmm. Well, I thought uh, Kiss My Sister worked well on the PC. Uh, kiss My Sister, it was, it was a nice experience. Uh, kiss, kiss My Sister? Well, let me tell you. Outstanding. Kissing My Sister was outstanding. Disgusting. <laughs> <gasps> the day the new game platform Venna Gear by Venna has been released. Oh no, the phone's ringing! Alright, sorry about that. Phone rang. It's the cops again. Have you seen this man? He's got nunchuck hands. No! Not my job to keep a lookout. Our post release analysis of Kiss My Sister is complete, and we got the following results Romance and Simulation is great. Engine seems to be quite important for this type of game. People really like to feel the lips of your sister. Gross. All right. So what do we got? Uh, casual games, level at open world, 2D graphics, 3D graphics, version 1. I'm going to stick... Let's do new school. Ew. Oh, these are like the worst topics. School? Like, like education? Or like... I, government, screw it. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. Alright. We didn't do game tutorials? Yeah, just do, do government. I'm guessing like a government simulator? Who the hell plays government simulators? There's city simulators. Research! You've completed your first research for government in the most exciting game. Government. Simulation. <laughs> Put it on the gameling. Uh, adventure RPG simulator strategy. Ah. Uh, hmm. Mm. A government simulation for my PC. Oh, God. Fat Cigar Man! Oh, Fat Cigar Man, my favorite government simulation PC game. Fat Cigar Man is doing wonderfully in the, in the, the stocks and such. Okay, sorry, new... Oh, God. This is going to be horrible. Fat Cigar Man. In two months, the G64 will be taken off the market. Oh, shite. 
Well then, I'm glad we didn't go with the uh, G64. That would have been horrible. Yeah, we just got this game, but uh, yeah, no, yeah, sorry. I put a little bit of sound in my game so you can hear the cigars burning when you smoke them. Kiss My Sister is now off the market. It sold 37,000 units, generating $262,000 in sales. Well, joyous McJesus. Get rid of those bugs for me. I almost clicked finish. That was a close one. There you go, my ginger baby. Hardware manufacturers around the world were surprised today as Govador, the creator of the popular G64, has filed bankruptcy. See? Oh, Govador failed to introduce a higher price alternative and was forced to shut down production of the G64. The platform will retire from the market early next year. Oh, you goofs. Give me them new records, girl. Mmm. Slapping that game out. Simple cutscenes. I guess we'll do research. First reviews for our newly released game, Fat Cigar Man, came in. Oh god, Fat Cigar Man was a, was a success. <laughs> Their focus on gameplay served this game very well. Breaking deals in Washington was amazing. A masterpiece. I truly felt like I got nothing done in Congress ever. Must have. Oh god. Fat Cigar Man. Really? This is the, f this is the game. This is the game I'm going to be known for. Fat Cigar Man, the government simulator. Oh, just... Uh. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for just... Sometimes I feel when I make really shitty things and I'm like, this is the worst thing ever, and then I release it and everyone's like, this is amazing. I'm like, I should just always make shitty things. G64 is no longer supported. You've released four games for the platform and earned a total of $495,000, bro. <gasps> we made a million! Fat Man Cigar, Fat Cigar Man has achieved company sales records with over 50k units sold. This important milestone in history of tummy sausage. Congratulations, you have made quite a name for yourself and have saved up a lot of capital. If you want to grow the company further, then you can move into a new office in the next step. I found the perfect office situated in a technology park. Would you like to move right now? Yes. Oh, we didn't finish our research, dickbag. Welcome to your new office. Now that you have bigger office, you have a bigger office, you can also hire staff and forge a world-class development team to make even better games. You may... You now may also train yourself and your staff to improve skills. Let's try this by completing a management course, which is required before you can hire your first employee. Okay. To get this started, close those messages and then click on your character to bring up the training menu. Post-release analysis of Fat Cigar Man is government simulation are great. Story requests seem to be not very important. Holy shist, I get it. We sold a lot of things. Train? You're going to train yourself. You'll be very good at things. Staff management. I know how to manage my staff. Doop 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 doop. I know how to manage my staff. The latest game by Tummy Sausage has received very positive reviews overall. Star Games gave it a 10. Their focus on gameplay was great. If Tummy Sausage continues to innovate like this, they might become a new fan favorite. Oh boy. I can't wait. Ta da! Well done, you've successfully completed your management course. You're now able to hire a first employee, get started, close the mission, and then click on the fill position. Before you can hire someone, you have to advertise the open position, set an advertising budget, and decide how you want to test your applicants. High budget will increase the number of applicants, and the different tests will help find people with the right balance. And the different tests. Budget. Two million dollars to find the perfect person. Jesus Christ. Go with 100k for now. Uh, complex algorithms, game demo, showreel. Urgh. Can I do like two? No, I'll do one. Well, uh, showreel. I don't know. Let's do game demo. Sounds about right. Complex algorithm. It seems that Tummy Sausage recently moved into an office in a well-known tech park and is now searching for employees. A company which is known for games such as Fat Cigar Man and Kiss My Sister has reportedly operated out of a garage until now. One of the many fans of, Cig of Fat Cigar Man commented, I can't believe that they didn't even have a proper office until now and that those games were created by only one person. I'm really looking forward to their future games. The search for the open position is complete. You can now review the list of the applicants and hire someone for position. Don't forget that you can always train your employees to improve their skills. Alias bird, alias bird. G64 
Jesus Christ. 9k per month? Mother of God. Right? Yeah, no. Jesus fuck. <laughs> I had to think about it. I was like, 9k a month. Holy Jesus! Holy bajambas! Oh my god! Dennis Hababis better friggin' blow me. Oh, Jesus. Alright, we got 9k, 105, 185. Well, we have two. <laughs> Never mind, I have 2.9 million dollars. Uh. You know what? I'm gonna go with you, Dennis. You better start blowing me. Hire someone famous! Congratulations on your first hire. New employees have to settle them before they become fully effective. When a character is not fully efficient, you can see inefficient, but you are nice to them. This part will fill up slowly over time. It's usually a good idea to give you new stats. Welcome, a welcome training to get them up to speed quickly. This will maximize their efficiency way faster than normally. To do this, close this message, then click on the character wing on the message. Jesus Christ. Fire. Staff, welcome. We threw a party for you. Fat cigar man's off the market. You sold a lot. Um, I just want. I just want to check. Hey, good, Dennis. Dennis, how are you doing? Oh, so he can research and I can research? Okay, nice. Awesome. Should I wait? Should, till we get... Well, I'll wait till I get fully integrated or something? I don't know. Fridge. Ooh, werewolf. School. Zombies. Alright. If you want to create hit games and have a world-class team, then training is important. For the best results, train your staff regularly, but don't overwhelm them with too many sessions. There are different training options available. Some options are better to increase certain skills than others. Experimenting is the best way to forget which training options fit your plans. It's useful to have a mix of specialists and all-rounders in your team, but aim to have at least one design specialist in tech. Game dev games. Makes me think. Game dev... Game design... For, don't repeat yourself. Code incomplete. Interesting. Oh, I'll just start and we'll do one. <sighs> Delicious. Ah, completed werewolf. All right, let's start it. He's still training. I don't know what the hell's going on over here. I forgot to put all the new stuff in. We need to have a new friggin' thing. Alright, I'm gonna do one new... I'm just gonna do one one new game. I'll do one new game, and then we'll do our new engine and stuff. Werewolf action or werewolf adventure? Hmm. Hmm. Action or adventure? Werewolf. If I were a werewolf, what would I rather have? I'd have... Uh, I have trouble figuring out what's action, what's adventure. I don't... I don't... I don't know. I'd never want to do these. I probably should, though. I should take a, a chance. We're going in. We're jumping in, Venna. My werewolf adventure game. Hair time. Hmm. Wolf boss. Moon wolf. 
Wolf. Moon. 